your your guys, uh, you know, when when people talk about Michigan's offense, it really, you know, the two tailbacks, Karan Higdon and Chris Evans, those are the, the most proven guys. Those are the guys that that you you know your bell cow, you hang your hat on a little bit. And so it really seemed like there was a turning point middle of the season last year. I want to say it was the Indiana game. And I remember talking to Jim and he said, you know, my dad said, why aren't you running the counter more? And you guys started doing more, more gap scheme stuff, it seemed, and it really seemed to take off. What do you remember about that time and, and, and how your guys really seemed to kind of carry the team from that point? Yeah, the, that Indiana game was kind of that, like you said, the, the uh, um, benchmark kind of in the season where we, we really, really got proficient at running uh, one of our counter plays, and the guys got really confident in their techniques within the scheme. Uh, guys had a great understanding of what are the different adjustments and how to how to play fast within the scheme. So uh, that certainly was was a pretty good play from that point on. Uh, and and uh, I do remember Grandpa Jack did a, he he did talk about that and and uh, he knows a thing or two about the counter play. So I was glad that we were able to get it on tape uh, the way that uh, he's accustomed to hey seeing man, it. Take that advice so you can get it right. No doubt. So I mean, and that was that was like Karan Higdon's coming out party, so to speak. He had played before, obviously, but that was his, his biggest game. He said down at Big Ten Media Days, you know, I looked at it. I graduated. You know, I was thinking about going. He said, but I wanted to rush for 1,000 yards. He was six yards away. And he said that was a big factor in knowing what you guys have coming back. And did you sense that he was, he was that close? And, and what's the next level for Karan? Uh, in terms of sensing that he was that close to leaving? To leaving. Um, it, it was tough to say, you know, and it's a huge credit to him because he did not speak about it. I mean, he was so focused on our offense and our team's success and uh, his development within that. Um, he knew that if he took care of doing the best he can, that's the best way to help the offense. That's the best way to help the team. And uh, he always said, Let's, we'll talk about it later, talk about it later. And, and uh, I love that about him. And uh, I think that that's an approach that so many young guys will look at and say, man, that's, that's really good. That's really smart. You know, let me, let me take care of this. And then that's going to lead to uh, just lead me right to the answer. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think he just was able to find peace with, with uh, you know, his feelings at the end of the season and what was, ended up being best for him. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I, I was happy it worked out that way. What was the second part of your question? Yeah, and so what's the next level? Like what he, 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 he really came out, performed well. I mean, you, you talked about him playing fast within the scheme. It just felt like he stepped up and, and took over, but that doesn't mean you stay at the same level. What did you kind of charge him with improving upon? Uh, there's a lot of different stuff. The, the very first thing was he's like exceptionally strong and exceptionally fast, and there was still like – a few different areas where he had a lot of room to actually improve his body uh and and you've probably seen photos of him i mean he's rocked up he's really really attacked his training he's improved his flexibility and his lateral mobility um which has been part of of the areas where uh he's not quite been elite but he's been really really good and so he's going to be a, an even more dynamic guy and even more well-rounded um and i think that's going to show up in the games as being able to break, you know, two or three more tackles uh, a half, you know, or maybe it's four tackles in a game, but that might be 50 yards, mm -hmm. you know, and, and he's the kind of guy, if he can break the tackle at the right time, he's got the long speed to turn, to turn four yards into 40 yards, and those things really stack up. So uh, I just think you're going to see a guy who when you watch him, it's like, shoot, man, this guy's good at everything he's doing. Yeah, that's one thing that, that maybe we haven't seen a lot of. I mean, you, you coach him every day, so you know how fast he is. But we, we haven't gotten a chance to really see his long speed a ton. How fast is he? He's fast. Uh, I know that he's, he's – I would imagine right now he might be the fastest or second fastest back. And then uh, on the team, I mean, he's up there in that top probably 10, top okay. 10, top 12 – uh, guys, I know that he'll go to Indian run under a four or five, which is uh, which is smoking. So. Yeah.